Zambian innovators are buzzing with fresh ideas, creating solutions to challenges across different sectors. And yes, even the youngest minds are stepping up. Meet 12-year-old Rashen Jawayaden, who has designed a walking stick, a tool meant to help the visually impaired move around safely and confidently. My auntie, she was having a visual impairment. She was going partially blind. So when there's an object, it vibrates. When there's water, it makes sound. I've also added automatic lights, which is able to switch on and off um, in the dark. So if a visual impairment, a person is walking around and he touches water and water enters, it'll start detecting and it'll make a noise to um, alert the person that there's water. While such innovations sound promising, many of them stop before reaching the market. Why? We put that question to business consultant and coach Gilbert Banda. We need, as a country, to begin to adopt uh, technologies. We need to be innovative for us to become uh, competitive. And we see it right across uh, in every industry, whether it's in mining, whether it's in uh, agriculture. We need to innovate. Mr. Banda believes the fastest way to bring these ideas to life is to link innovators with industry players and encourage partnerships that go beyond the drawing board. We should uh, really, we, we should just find a way and mechanism of linking innovators uh, with people in industry and uh, people that need those kind of innovations. Meanwhile, the Citizens Economic Empowerment Commission, CEEC, says it is ready to support viable innovations, not just with funding, but also with technical expertise to help them thrive as sustainable businesses. Uh, for us, uh, innovations are always welcome. It's very, very exciting because they also enable us to tackle and cater to um, a section of the demographic that historically is not usually serviced. With government planning to set up innovation hubs across the country, the big question is, which of these brilliant ideas will break through and transform Zambia's economy? Samuel Machishi, ZNBC News, Lusaka.